Today we're going to uh, show you how to take the stereo out of a 2014 Toyota Tundra. Uh, we have the stereo in the shop for a bad display and we've taken care of the display so we're going to put it in and sort of show this video a little bit backwards. But uh, the stereo has many connections here on the back. Many connectors. These connectors are all keyed, they're all specific, and the connectors only go back and fit specific spots. Uh, here in the dash we have all the connectors that are going to go back into the radio. Again, like I say, these connectors are all different. They go back and fit only one spot. We have several antennas for uh, GPS and so on, and, and we're going to show you how this, uh, this will all plug back in. Uh, when the stereo is uh, originally removed, uh, we had one clip right here, this yellow clip stayed in the uh, body of the vehicle. So we're going to go back behind and pull this clip out. And this clip fits back onto the face of the radio at the back of it here, and it clips right back in place. Now that that's in, we'll be able to put this all back in and mate it up. Now we've got all the uh, connectors back into the radio, and to remove these connectors when you get the radio out of the dash, there's little triggers on top, and you push this trigger down and you're able to wiggle the connectors loose. Now this works for all the connectors all across the back of the stereo. Push the trigger down and wiggle the connector loose. And again, that will work for all these connectors across the top for the antennas and the main power connectors. Now we're going to put the stereo back into the dash. To remove the stereo, there are four 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, two are real easy to see right here at the bottom. One here on the right and one here on the left. But there's also two more that are way back in the opening on the back right here and also here up behind the uh, other screw that's towards the front back here on the left. We're going to have to remove those four screws to pull the stereo out. And again, the clips hold the stereo in place, so you just pull the stereo straight out of the dash with all the four screws removed. Uh, when it comes to putting the bolts in that are way in towards the back, we put a piece of paper across the socket too. It makes the uh, screw a little bit snugger in the socket so we can reach back there without it falling out of the socket to put it in place. Okay, you can see the uh, bolts, the two bolts are in place here that need to be removed on each side. The uh, front panel here, we've removed the one main connector that goes here in the top from the, uh, disconnected that one. This would allow us to pull this front panel down to get access to the screws. Now we're gonna put this panel back in place. Okay, now the uh, front panel here uh, is held in by clips too and comes all the way down the side. And we're going to put it up in place here and just snap it back into the dash and have the clips snap it back in. Now to remove this panel, you start at the bottom and pry along, start at the bottom and pry up along the edges to get the AC controls and the uh, Tundra insignia across the top here to pull away from the dash. Uh, this is how you remove the stereo from a 2014 Toyota Tundra. Hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.